Okay, problem number 12. It says the figure shows Jn, where's Jn? J to N and K to M intersecting at point N. Okay, they intersect. Uh, what value of X, where's X? Right there, proves that JK is parallel to MN, that this line and this line are parallel. Well, hmm. First thing I notice, if that's 61 and 39, right here I know the vertical angle is 39 also. Those have got to be 39. Now, what we know, well, let's see. If that's 61 and 39, that adds up to, what, 100? So that makes this angle right here 80. That was nice of them to make it add up to 100. So we know all the measurements here. We want to prove that JK, this line here, and MN, this line here, are parallel. Well, what we do is we have a couple intersecting bits. We notice there's a transversal here. I don't know why I said intersecting. Apologize for that. This line here is going to intersect the other line there. Maybe that's why I said it. You can see right away that what we have is this right here and that right there. Those are the Z-Meister. The Z-Meister, yeah, the alternate interior angles. That 3x plus 5 is going to have to equal to 80 degrees. The other thing you may have noticed, you may have done a Z-Meister this way, noticing this has to be 61 degrees, and then all these three things are going to add up to 180. Either way, I'm just going to say 3x plus 5 must match my 80 because the Z-Meister, if they're going to be parallel, this angle and that angle, alternate interior angles, must be equal. So I know that 3x plus 5 must come out to be 80 degrees. That's what has to happen. Subtract my 5 from both sides. I get 3x, 75, divide by 3, a nice 25. So in the blank here, x must be 25. That has to be the value for x in order for these lines to be parallel.